have the focus has been on their lack of a number one receiver. Jerry Jones said yesterday that the Cowboys have not had a number one receiver for several years, which seemed to be a shot at Des Bryant. Jerry added that Des has never been in the elite category like DeAndre Hopkins and Julio Jones. Well, Des actually agreed with Jerry on Twitter saying, as a receiver playing for the Dallas Cowboys, your mind has to be right because you will never see targets like AB, OBJ, and DeAndre Hopkins. None of those guys. I was never schemed into things. I made things happen and throughout my career, I'm Mr. 73. They had Jason Witten as our number one, so Jerry is right. Then, Des was not happy with Shannon's tweet that Des looks thirsty for his comments about the Cowboys. Des tweeted, I reply back, I look thirsty. Tell me how I get it. It's okay for y'all to say what y'all want and expect us players not to say anything back, even if it's positive, negative, or simply the truth. Create whatever narrative you like. I don't give a bleep. Let's make that clear. Busy guy on Twitter. Shannon, what is your take on Dez's comments? Skip, now I swore I was going to be like Lil Duval, mm -hmm. that I wasn't going to be going back and forth with these suckers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here I am going back and forth mm -hmm. because Dez keep dragging me in this. Skip, I tweeted after what Jerry said. We touched on a little bit yesterday. Jerry on his radio show said, mm -hmm. we haven't had a number one receiver yep. in several years. I tweeted, I said, I don't really know what else Dez need to hear mm -hmm. from Jerry Jones to let him know they've moved on. Mm -hmm. Him, eight days ago, uh, 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 someone tweeted Dez, who you signing with at Dez Bryant? I'd rather be a Dallas Cowboy. Mm -hmm. did. Skip, they released you mm -hmm. with not a salary uh, restructure, with not a pay decrease. No. They flat out released you. Uh, a week ago, Jerry Jones, they asked Jerry with the situation because the receivers, for whatever reason, they don't mm -hmm. think they're getting open. Jerry says, no, we've moved on. He's posting things. He in, in, in silver and blue shorts. Mm -hmm. It's uh, silver top and blue shorts. Come on, bro. And I said, you look thirsty. And you do. Jerry has moved on. And now Jerry says, we hadn't had a number one receiver. And first of all, Jerry, if you don't think Dez was elite like DeAndre Hopkins and AB, why the hell you pay him like he was? You gave him $14 million. Mm -hmm. Here's what Dez don't understand, Skip. Here, last year, Dez was 12th in targets. He was 20, tied for 24th in catches, 26th in yards. Of the 72 qualifying receivers, Daz finished 65th in catch percentage. Mm. Mm. Daz had 132 targets. Mm -hmm. 132. And led Dallas by far. Go ahead. Yep. See, Daz is trying to absolve himself of this blame. Mm -hmm. And he says he's Mr. 73. You also missed the number one, too, Daz, as in one playoff victory. If you want your story told, tell it all. We got robbed out of a Yeah, why well, he won. Yeah. Well, okay, you know what? On his resume, maybe they could have put an asterisk by it said he was robbed of another playoff victory. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, what's on there is one. He's missed the number one, as in one playoff win. Mm -hmm. That's on his resume. But Dad's got to stop this, Skip. I would rather be a Dallas Cowboy. Skip, they released you. They moved on. Mm -hmm. When the Broncos released me, and then I got released by the Ravens two years later, I wasn't calling them. Mm. They reached out to me. Would I be interested in return? Sure. Mm. I wasn't, there was no social media, but I wasn't in no, a, uh, taking no pictures with Ozzy. And hell, I, I like to thank Ozzy and I are very good friends. Mm. One of the first guys that I wanted to meet when I got to the NFL. Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. You bigger than, and as I, I hashtag Dez, mm. other teams pay too. Oh. Dallas Cowboys are not the you only one. You hashtag? Yeah, I hashtag. That, that's what you hashtag? Yeah. Really? I Things never hashtag. I you don't never do anything. Never hashtag. That's why they, they engage me. They love me. Really? You see, David Allen Grill, what he say? Oh, Shay Shaw! That's my guy, Shay Shaw. He was doing that to get me. <laughs> it worked too. Yeah. <laughs> but Skip, I don't know if you know what thirsty means, but Dez is thirsty. Where did you get that word? Where, where did you come up that's with? A, you know, that's Which, a, that's I know what that means. That's a term. That's yeah. a term that we use in our community do you? that signifies somebody, you know, <clears throat> out there, you know. Hmm. Look at all. Do you do you, you don't count like you when you posted them pictures with your shirt off. Really? You looking real thirsty. Uh, thirsty for what? Yeah, yeah don't worry oh, about it. You okay. know, when, when you
You learn a lot I from your deal. followers. You engage because you learn. Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll use that on Undisputed. You, you gotta go, you gotta uh -huh. get out. You gotta go get out, Skip. Really? You know, you gotta be in heavy You your... need to be confident in your own thoughts. Skip, where do you mm. think all these words come from? I don't know. Exactly. Make them up. Create them. Coin them. Some of them I do. Do you? Some of them come from other people mm. that we use. Mm. You didn't, hold on, all the words that you use, you created them? I, I create all these nicknames. No, you didn't. Yes, you, didn't did. you didn't create, create. Yeah. Somebody else, you, you using it, right? Get it? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. not every word, but. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now I'm worried about you calling him thirsty. I'm yeah, worried. he was thirsty, posting that stuff. You see him, Jenny? Yeah. He under like you here. I'm thirsty because I get dehydrated because I run so that much. That ain't what thirsty. If, if, that don't, if, that I, don't. if I didn't run so much, you then you'd see some pictures. I think you and I have different definitions <laughs> of thirsty. Oh, okay. So, by the way, Des, in his response to you, he typoed and said, I look 30. He, he didn't oh, put the S in it. Yeah. He does look 30, right? <laughs> Doesn't he look 30? He looks every bit of 30, right? Because mm -hmm. he's, his body got beat up. So this is my big picture takeaway from all this. Des Bryant is turning into one of the saddest stories I've ever watched unfold in the National Football mm -hmm. League. And I go back a ways covering the National Football League. And obviously, we're not talking about some life-threatening disease that he has or tragedy that he has suffered, but it's a football tragedy, what has happened to him. Because in 2014, he was it. Yeah. He was the guy. I was, the, I, you know, on the old show, I'm just throwing up the X every day because that was a year. I can argue it was the best year any receiver had that year. You were arguing was, that he was right there. He was first team all pro, all pro. And he did get robbed at Green Bay in that playoff game, but that's we'll leave that be. But the point is, he was on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine. That's hard to do. You have crossed over mm -hmm. in demographic into the world. Now, now everybody wants to know about Dez in Dallas. And off that, he gets his deal. He gets five years, $70 million, 43.5 guaranteed. God bless him for that, because he did get his money. Yeah. And he gets to... He, he gets to keep that money, and I'm, I'm pretty sure he's okay money-wise. Yeah. I'm going to hope he is. I hope he didn't yeah. squander that. But the point is, that was kind of the beginning of the end of him because the next year he was just beat up all year long. Mm -hmm. He had the Jones fracture, and then this happened, and that happened, and he's, his body started to betray him as most guys' body starts right. to betray. And he was a possession receiver, so he took a lot of shots. He didn't protect himself. It wasn't like he caught a slant and got down, you right. know, he's, he's going to take some collisions. Mm -hmm. And then he only played nine games in 2015, but 2016, just to put Jerry back in his place a little bit, Des did make the Pro Bowl in 2016. I'm not saying he had a great year with Dak, but, but he had a pretty good one. He, he managed to play 13 games, and then in that playoff game against Aaron Rodgers, the one that, they, you know, that Mason Crosbar stole from them, Des caught nine balls for 132 yards and two touchdowns in that game. Is that a number one receiver? Yeah. I'd say that is. Yeah. So, so again, if you want to just go back to last year, he was a disaster last year. And, and to your point, by far the most targets on the team, as you said, the 12th most targets in the league. Well, don't tweet that, that you were schemed out of things, you know, because yeah. you weren't. Yeah. I, how many times last year did I just cringe? I couldn't even watch. Yeah. Because Dak dropped back and looked for the single covered 88. I'll throw it to 88, 88, 88. And you're throwing it down a dry well. That's what you're throwing. Because he led the league in drops last year. So they definitely didn't have a number one receiver last year. Body has broken down. And he tried to throw it off on, on, on Jason Witten. Basically mm -hmm. trying to shade Jason Witten. Say, yeah, you didn't yeah. have a number one. Because Jason was your number one. Nah, bro, don't do that. That was you. Mm -hmm. and because this is what happens. If you're not fundamentally or technically sound, at running the route tree, what yeah. happens, Skip, when you start to get nicked and you start you. to get older? I agree. You get guys like Larry Fitzgerald that's technically sound. They can move from outside the numbers to inside the numbers and mm -hmm. not miss a beat. Yep. So he's bragging, boasting on Twitter, was Des Bryant yesterday, about being Mr. 73. That means that he broke Bob Hayes' all-time Dallas Cowboy touchdown record with 73 of his own. Mm -hmm. Okay, way to go, Des. But if you're Mr. 73, you are living in the past. Yeah. You are clean to what was. So is that going to be your epitaph Bob, in didn't, Dallas? Didn't Bob Hayes win a, a Super Bowl? Was he on that Super Bowl team that first in mm -hmm. 74? He was gone because he came with 65, yeah. 64, 65. Yeah. So he was gone. But he simply just changed the way people played football. Oh, because... yeah. He got him out of that all-man coverage <sighs> because he just run by everybody. He, ch he, he changed the game. He was an Olympic sprinter.
100, no, not just a sprinter. He wanted to go medal. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he, but he had world class speed. But if you look at the guy, the receivers mm -hmm. that we think of are great, the Pearsons mm -hmm. and the Hills and the yeah. Urbans, they got something on their resume, Skip. They might not have the most touchdowns, they but they got rings. the most Zubos. They got rings. They got Zubos. Uh, so you, I, I just want to know what you're playing for. You playing for touchdowns? You playing for them trophies? Good question. Because in Dallas, they you, I don't know how they do it now, but they they used to play for trophies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. I'm not sure what they're playing that's, that's for That's what now. they used to play for. Like uh, 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 Mike Tomlin told Willie Parker. Yeah. Willie Parker said he needed to get his carries up because yeah. he's trying to win the rushing, ti rushing mm -hmm. title. Mm -hmm. Mike Tomlin said, I don't see no rushing title tro trophies up here. I see Lombardis. Mm -hmm. I don't see no trophies up there. I don't even know if they got a trophy of Emmett. He's all-time leading rusher yeah. in that building. That might have, have a is there a Mr. 73 trophy in the foyer of their facility? I don't think so. Yeah. I don't know. You know what? That's dumb. Yeah. To hear Jerry say we hadn't had a number one, okay. and he says has never been yeah. an Antonio Brown or DeAndre Hopkins. Man, that hurt, Skip Bayless. Mm. That hurt him. Because mm. I'm telling you, Skip, the reason why people get so, especially the players, because, see, they use that against you, Skip. Well, you didn't play, Skip, what you know. Mm -hmm. Dez can't say, Shannon, you didn't play. He can't say, Shannon, what you do. He, did, he, he can't, can't say that. And it's, so it, it's killing it. It's them mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I come with credibility. Yep. And they know I know what the hell I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So that bothers him. Yep. And he's still sitting on his couch without a job. That is sad to me. But that, but and shocking. That's, that's our fault, Skip. Yeah. Because yeah, what we that, because you and I talked about it, we somehow influenced the general manager. Like they care what we they doing their job. Mm -hmm. We doing our job. As if we created a false narrative when I think we just created what happened. We're Sanjay Lau said the same thing. Will McClay said the same yeah. thing. Yeah. Steven and Jerry said the same thing. Other analysts that, that played the game mm -hmm. and, and played the position yep. say the same thing. What? Mm. Invitation is still on the table for mm -hmm. to join us it is. and speak his piece because that would Love always it. help answer some of these yeah. questions. Mm -hmm. Catch that invitation. Mm -hmm. you know, we dropped the last couple. Mm -hmm. More tweeted. Because I'm thirsty over here. <laughs> uh, you need to look that up before you keep saying that. I'm thirsty. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I, I don't am know. thirsty. I'm going to go get oh, some diet dude boy. right now. We are going to go back to the mm -hmm. Lakers. Will Lonzo Ball be a breakout mm -hmm. star uh, this season? You want to explain it to him? We'll discuss that with Rob Parker next.